Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about 10 things you might have not known in the Roblox stores. Hotel Plus update. Let's just get right to the video. Um, but yeah, let's also make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. So, um, first thing we got here. El Goblino is based off the popular Twitch streamer XQZ. The reason is because he says dude a lot and acts like a goblin. Um, that is, this is true though, so, um, uh, but yeah, I'm not going to explain anymore. That's all I got to say. El Goblino, number two. El Goblino is the one who knocks on the wall, the walls and doors, and he scratches the walls and made holes in rooms. So, um, yeah, a better translated version of Goblino, uh, which, that Goblino is Spanish, so, Goblino is Duende, which means elf, um, translated from Spanish to English, and in folklore, elves in Mexico live inside of the walls of homes. Um, El Goblino has three claws, which proves that he scratched the walls and possibly made holes in rooms. As you guys know, there's like, um, holes sometimes in like those rooms, and you can get the key inside the rooms and just unlock the next door. And then there's like those, um, claw marks in the walls, like three claw marks. And this is his El Goblino because he only has three claws. Um, I saw someone else say that it was Figure that did that. Um, I don't think Figure has any claws, so I don't know how Figure would possibly make those claw marks but i'm assuming because um since like el goblino has three claws that it was him who um scratched the walls so um and yeah he goes inside the walls and knocks and stuff so next up we have here is curious light is evil so we know this because in game curious light doesn't really try to help us but sometimes tells us to keep trying so like um yeah, he says like you're not gonna do it like just don't try again or something um, and then sometimes he says, like, to keep trying, I don't know. Um, and also I saw Game 3 say that, um, that Curious Light is the devil for some reason. Uh, or is, like, just, I mean, I'm just gonna say evil, alright? Um, better words, you know? Um, and then Guiding Light is good. So the next one is Guiding Light is good, yeah. We know that because, obviously, Guiding Light shows us where to go and helps us complete the game faster. So, like, he shows us, the uh, where to go if we're in the dark and like if we can't find the key or a book or something um i don't know if he makes a sound i think he does too but um yeah he's like shows where the key are, where the keys are and uh, like where the door is that's locked like if you're taking too long so they can help us out and beat the game next thing we have here the sheer item is underneath the courtyard we know this because the item was leaked in an older photo i did not know that actually but yeah it was leaked in an older photo um, but never released in the Hotel Plus update because they were originally supposed to be used to cut vines on chests in the greenhouse. But the devs thought it felt like a lockpick 2.0 and that you would barely get to use them. So they ended up not releasing it in the recent update, but still may come in a future update. So, um, pretty excited for that. Um, also I saw Keycraft put it in his rift, so that's kind of funny. He's playing like Lolcat and, um, Kernhong. Um, but yeah, you can you can get the shears, but you have to like exploit and like hack, uh, and go onto the map and collect them, and then put them in your rifts or something to keep them. But um, that is possible to get the shears, uh, and it is under the courtyard. Next up, we have here um, Screech was added a week before the release of the official Doors release date. So Redables, which is one of the devs for Doors, had a nightmare about Screech. It, I did not know this until today. Had a nightmare about Screech and added it to the game um, a week before release. But the original Screech in his dream had more arm-like tentacles, so that would be kind of more sc more scary. I feel like um, Screech with more tentacles. Like I wonder what the jump scare was in Redables. Like I mean, maybe there was no um, jump scare, but if there was a jump scare in Redables, like dream, I mean, I wonder what it would be. Maybe it was the same jump scare. Who knows? But like, imagine having Screech in your dream. Like that'd be scary, man. Especially with more tentacles, so, like more arms. Yeah, I would be creeped out, man. All right, all right. The next one is the entity dupe was formed by a nightmare. So this is Redables again. So we had two nightmares on two entities that are in Roblox stores. So Redables once again had another nightmare where he was going back to his hotel room and accidentally opened the door to the wrong room. Um, so that's basically how they got the inspiration for dupe. So it wasn't actually like the actual. It wasn't the entity dupe. It was just the concept where. Um, if you go to the wrong room, like, you get duped, you know? Um, but yeah, in, in his dream, he accidentally opened the door to the wrong room, so it's kind of funny. Alright, so the next thing we have here is Jeff is a killer. <laughs> so, in Roblox stores, you can find El Goblino say, Don't try to steal from Jeff. Man, 
He will make you pay. Should I should call him Jeff the Killer or something? That's what he says. That's what El Gabriel says. Meaning, if you steal from Jeff, he might actually kill you. So, like, what if you actually do, like, steal from Jeff? Imagine. Like, I mean, if maybe they added, like, a new, like, option where you can just steal from him or something. Like, imagine you could just take his, um, college funds, like, the one that, how, like, how you get the please donate system. Imagine you were, like, able to steal that, and then you would, like, follow you the whole game. That would be kind of funny, honestly. But, like, who knows, guys? Maybe Jeff is not who we think he is. Alright, maybe he's not our favorite entity anymore, alright? No, he probably is gonna be our favorite entity anyway, but... And El Gabino and Bob, all those entities, um, in that one room are... They're just awesome, man, all, all together. Alright, next up is... Bob is getting a remodel. So yeah, he is indeed getting a remodel. If you look on that door's wiki, you can see that it shows a new update slash upcoming version of the Roblox Doors entity. We know Bob. Um, so yeah, if you look in the door's wiki, it says, like, upcoming, um like version of uh bob i can show you guys on the screen right now but yeah the new version i mean it looks pretty cool but i kind of like the just regular bob it's just already in the game so uh but i still do like that uh, that they added like uh they're adding a new um like a remodel i guess so um that's pretty cool so next up we have here i think this is the last thing as well um the meat like substance is figure um, so the reason why most people think the meat-like substance is the figure, because El Gablino says in his dialogue, Oi, that macho meat dude came in here a while ago. Um, uh, almost destroyed the place. Oof, man, calm down. I can't really do a good, um, El Gablino impression, but, um, meaning it was probably figure since he's in door 50, and El Gablino is only on door 52, so they're basically, like, next door neighbors. Uh, which means Figure eventually got trapped in the library. So, like, maybe, um, when Figure went, like, went past El Gablino, like, he had a trail or something. I don't know, man. Maybe he got, like, stabbed or something. I don't know. And then, it was, like, and his flesh was coming out and then going around the map. I mean, that could be, like, a theory right there. I don't know if that's actually true, but, like, who knows? Um, maybe it is true. I feel like, I feel like it's true. I just feel like it's true. I, I've seen some people say that as well. Um, but I just want to mention that because maybe like figure yeah, dragged along his like flesh or something and then he came back and got trapped in door 50 and now he's like stuck in the library. That's why maybe he's like angry a bunch because like he just wants to get out. Um, and imagine bro, imagine figure actually had like eyes before but like, um, like someone cut off his head or like part of his head or something. That would be, that would be like, like that would be crazy man if that is actually true, imagine. But probably not. Um, I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe. But yeah. But my theory here, or a lot of people are saying this, that figure is like trapped on door 50, and he was just trying to get out, and then maybe he got like caught and sent back. I don't even know. But anyways, it's kind of. I'm gonna have to wrap up the video here. Um, th that's the 10 things that you might have not known in the Roblox doors Hotel Plus update. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new. Uh, if you want more content like this, just comment down below. Also, comment down below if you have any um, other video idea like suggestions. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. So yeah, peace.